So you guys should all be back now as we get into our next match review. This uh, review comes to us from Void. 2.2k hours in the game of Dead by Daylight. So over double that amount, I expect most people to be uh, down pat when it comes to their fundamentals with Dead by Daylight. Anyways, we're playing the Demorgan. Back to the match review. We're playing Demo Organ. We demo. We organ. Um, very middle of the road killer. Very solid B tier killer. Um, anti chase, but a lot of counterplay. Uh, map traversal, but you have to set it up. But yeah. Um, okay, so you're using the patented demo add ons, Barb Glasses, Blackheart. Totally fine. Uh, your build is a little bit desired. Um, throwing mostly pairs well with kick perks. And when I say mostly pairs well, I mean only pairs well. Otherwise, it's not really. <laughs> it's not really worth running because of a super long cooldown. Um, Ruin is better than people give her credit for, but by itself without Undying could, has the potential to be sniped super early. Um, Dying Light, not really that good. Mindbreaker's okay. It feels just like a random Osorme purge. There's not really a whole lot of synergy going on. I'd like to see you lean into one of these, whether it be buffing up on the Ruin or buffing up on the Thrilling when it comes to like kick perks. But yeah, Casey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, friend. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the game. What do you even use dead? Who, who even utilizes like Dying Light well? Besides like, you, there's probably some like niche like plague build or something I can imagine, maybe. But otherwise like, what do you even use that for? I don't know. Yeah, you're not really setting down portals, I'm noticing, which is not ideal. You're not really setting up your network. You're not setting yourself up from success later. Dust is blue, dust is blue. Ooh. Yeah. If you had crossed the log one more time and got to the other side, you probably would have been good. No, you got to accept that he's not going to let you do that, so you got to stop going for it. I see a lot of people do that. It's like... People will go for a mind game, and they're like, no, it'll work this time. No trust, it'll work this time. No trust, it'll work this time. But they do it over and over. Like, if it didn't work the first time, it's not... It's way less likely to work the second time, much less like a third or a fourth. Maybe at the end of the day is a game of like communication, right? And that that Ace essentially told you that mind game does not work on me. But you kept trying the mind game, even though he had already communicated, hey, I dodged that. So make sure you're you're listening to what they're telling you. Yeah, I would leave this chase. You've already spent way too much time in this chase. Yeah, I would just leave this. Hey, B man. How are you? Just doing our match reviews. Hope your Monday stream you all. Unfortunately, it took you three and a half minutes. Well, hold on. This where does the match actually start? Two and a half minutes, more like probably. Yeah, it took you a little bit under, but it took you a long time to get that first down. Remember, gens are only ninety seconds. It took a long time to get that. <laughs> Why is everybody going blue? Hi, Wise. How are you? Are you? I feel like you could have hit him there. So when you're in a situation like this, vaulting is going to lose you more distance than it helps you. 
like the the cases where you vault after somebody or a you have bamboozle so it goes quickly or if like the length of the wall it's attached to is so long that you have to to save time when the when the the walls on both sides of this are short you typically don't want to vault after them this is just a waste of time hey mass time is end time as they say Somehow that works. That's so funny. Maria, pay attention! Look, the Demogorgon! It's behind you! Yeah. Yeah. Replicant? I'm not a replicant. Yeah. I'm a deleter. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful. You're, you're doing a good job staying in chase. I would go up there and knock them off that. You still have rune up. <laughs> Matt already face. Delete! 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 That was an error I wish we could have back. That, would, that was a funny time. Who you're the real brand? Say something only the real brand would say. Why am I in the hot seat? Oh, why am I in the hot seat? I'm trying to do this match for you, and you're like, "Are you a replicant? Replicate these nuts." There's something brand would say. You keep going for this mind. You need to like take the feedback that like this mind game doesn't work well, but you keep doing it. The definition of insanity, right? Doing the same thing, expecting different results. That's literally what you're doing. You're going for this mind game over and over at this specific log on different people, and it's not working. You keep trying it. You're like, maybe it'll work on this guy. Like, you got to take the hint. This is not working out. Not me, it's you. <laughs> Lightning rod. Light one, by the way. <laughs> Shoot, I feel, that makes it better almost. Lightning rod. <laughs> Not even the right name of the add on. At least Cat Carrier works on people who aren't paying attention or who don't put up turrets. By the way, I just want to point this out. Ripley's watch gets dumber the longer I think about it. You, you know that, like, turrets overheat, right? Like, there's a mechanic for that. If turrets. Turrets can only blow so much flames before they blow up. And sometimes they'll 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 throw out the flames and, and deactivate where they do like they're doing a whole like I'm asleep thing where they're looking straight up. If a survivor doesn't repair that, it also blows up. There are so many ways that turrets just naturally blow up that you're gonna run a fucking add-on to do it. There are so many ways turrets just blow up on their own, and you're gonna be like, nah, Ripley's watch. <laughs> so fucking silly. <laughs> The more I think about that out, the more I'm like, wow, that just, that just sucks. <laughs> You're committing these really long chases, too, because of these mind games, which is not doing you very well. Yeah, you are. You need to activate your windows, by the way. I just, just want to activate your windows. What the, what the heck? Hello? What did I just look over and see? Yeah, you're setting up your portals way too late into the game. Like now, it doesn't really matter too much. Would have helped have these earlier. PS2, the scream sounds. Hey, we stay in the PS2 in this household. Gray system. Stop doing it anyways. Love Ambrosia. Ambrosia is like the the thing I love in Brad Ambrosia a lot. Because they have a very like dry delivery. They're very funny, but their delivery is very dry, which I appreciate a lot. Like you could never tell by how much of a memer they are in chat. Then you go to the Twitch stream, they're like, oh hi, hello. <laughs> like they're so like Zen. 
but they're just like shit posting all the time anyways. Your hyper focus build. Ugh. That's gross. Eerie is one of Zemo's worst maps too. Not that that's particularly saying anything, because Eerie's like everybody's worst map. But particularly for the Zemo, because of bad control station spawns and terrible collision. You you swing a lot. Still getting to miss sometimes, but like you're like swinging for the fences. Yeah, you're trying to scramble something together, but I feel like it's just like... I feel like it's their game to lose, you know? Miss other percent of the shots you don't take? Yes, but you also can miss 90% of your shots that you take. <laughs> you can also miss 90% of them, which is not a good, a good ratio. No, they have not, Grace. Oh my gosh. Oh! Ah! Ah! Whoa! Hello? Oh. Think about that. You're doing that. Dun dun dun. The recording, uh. Having some issues there. Never use portals again! Back out! <laughs> Don't go again! Oh, that's unlucky. I like the idea to slug here. You need some sort of pressure. You eat my die on that. Unlucky. I think you're good though, because you still have him on a bad rotation, because you gotta go... You're gonna go pick up Ace, hook Ace, and they have to go get Maria, and then they have to go get Ace, so like... Argus is halted, and Ruin's still up, so... As long as they're not on the gens, your gens are regressing. If you... You, you down Ace at the four lane. There you go. Yo, Epic, things are worth fall, friend. We'll bring having a nice Monday. I thought somebody was in that bush there for a second. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? I would go back to that hook. There's 73% of stair accidents happen on the stairs? Where else do they happen? It's like that Drake and Josh joke from back in the day. You know, like, they say like half of the people that go parachute, go skydiving, they never make it to the ground. Where did they go? <laughs> Wait, where did they go? Yeah, you're like trying to like scramble to set up your portal network like really late in the game. Which is like a time investment that's hurting you. What should we have? I would go for Yui here. Yeah, I would go for Yui. I wouldn't even check the den. Go for Yui! Go for Yui! The best pressure is death! Rawr! He said, Rawr! You're getting into this zone that I see a lot of kids get into where they're just like furiously trying to defend the gen instead of just like getting somebody dead, which is the best way to pressure a gen. You pressure a gen by creating a 3v1 situation, that way there's quite literally less people to actively work on that gen. And you are currently prioritizing gen defense. When in a roundabout way, your gen defense would be better if you just, like, got somebody out of the game. It's giving very much licking doorknobs is illegal on other planet style jokes. Licking doorknobs is illegal on other planets. 
No, not that one. Yeah, please get her. Most Kaiser do match right now? I know Kaiser used to funnel people to me for match reviews. They're like, no, you do it. <laughs> okay. That's fine by me. I think they go by they them exclusively, them guy. Just go throw that out there. 10 p.m. coffee? I need 10 p.m. coffee. I'm working for the rest of the night. Because as soon as I'm done here, I, I do YouTube. All night. Gotta record. <laughs> Edit all that wonderful stuff. Yeah, you're fine. Not that I can speak for them, but I know Kaiser typically is like as lots of people are trying. They are uh they're cool. They don't mind, but Unfortunately, find a lot of people in the DB community are very ick when it comes to that stuff. If you had done this like a gen ago, this would be like an easy win. Like it wouldn't be close. You just kind of like prioritize defending the gen over like... Ooh, nice. She gets the gen, but at this point it doesn't matter. If you've done this... If you did this a, like a gen ago, where you like confirmed to the chase instead of defending the gen, you would have won this a gen ago. Look at, look at all the people that were dead. You could have chased like literally anybody. You would have been fine. If you had done that in a gen before, solid. You did a little late, so you, the, they got the last gen done. Yeah, hey, you gotta place it a little bit further back. Make sure you activate it too, or else it doesn't count. Ah, uh, make sure you activate or else it doesn't count! Okay, you found them. Never mind. They just got a little too audacious about running up in your face. At this point, unless she finds Hatch, like, she's just kinda hosed here. She's squid, bro! Squid! I used to do the same thing, Grace. Like I legitimately did. But I found out some people like do it hatefully. Which is not comes to no surprise, right? Some people do it hatefully. And uh, of course, you know. I'm becoming less naive as I get older, but like my naive ass is like, oh okay, it was a mistake. Well it was just an accident. But I found even the DB community, some people just Intentionally disrespect people's pronouns for some reason, and I'm just like... Okay. Thank you for being a piece of garbage! Alright, so in terms of your main takeaways, thankfully a lot of this, you kind of put the pressure on yourself. And you, when you picked up, when you picked up the pressure and stopped making the mistakes you were making kind of towards the end, you saw the match turn to your favor. But uh, these are some of the things that you should be doing to make your life easier so you don't have to always get down to all gens complete. Um, your first main takeaway is something I was pointing out earlier in the game, is if a player is not falling for a certain mind game, it's better to probably just give up on it because at the end of the day, DBD is a game of communication. If somebody says, I'm going to dodge this, I'm going to dodge this, I'm going to dodge this. Odds are it's not going to work the third, fourth, or fifth time. You should take the hint and go for something a little bit more straightforward, like getting the pallet out of the way, or just Wing at him. Don't always go for a mind game. Mind games work on people that, you know, are... How do I phrase this in a way that makes it conducive? Mind games work if people are falling for the mind games, which is a no-duh. But, like, if somebody's not falling for the mind games, why keep going for it? Because essentially mind games at the end of the day are a trick. You're pulling, you're, you're tricking somebody into falling for something. And if they're not falling for it, why keep trying? That's like you saying, well, two plus two is five. And somebody's like, nah, I passed the first grade. Four. Sorry. <laughs> and you come, no, 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 bro, it's five. Like you keep insisting. Like you're not going to trick him. You're not going to put one over him. Just, just let go. Let it go. 
because a lot of your chase times are really bloated because you kept going for that same like log mind game with the shred over and over and over and over and it wasted a lot of time it made a lot of your chase time really long as a result um second is if you had set up your uh portals a little bit earlier you would have had more map traversal early on and more map pressure early on like you saw once you actually had your network up you were able to pressure the gens a lot better and you're in your and you start snowballing a great deal because of it but imagine if you had that even earlier would have been a major help for you um there's a big one. Oh yeah and your third main takeaway is that you definitely at the end of that match the last two gens start prioritizing defending the gens over going after survivors which was funny because most of the team was death hook there is no greater pressure on gens than a 3v1 2v1 and obviously 1v1s with hatch but Having survivors sacrificed is the best way to pressure gens because that's one less person that can actively be doing the gens and splitting the pressure on you. So that little dance you did at the end there where you're trying to push people out the gens over and over instead of committing to a chase, you definitely should have just committed to a chase. That way you could have made it a 3v1 and then a 2v1 and then one way earlier. So 